Hey everybody, this is LEGO Reviewer 360 doing our review of the LEGO Star Wars ATTE Walker. 799 pieces. It's ages 9 to 14, set number 7675. Start with the minifigures. You don't get a lot of minifigures with this set, which is one of the reasons that it's the only thing that I actually don't like about it. Um, you get an Anakin Skywalker with a blue lightsaber. Um, if you have the Anakin Zay Starfighter, then there, he is not really that rare because you can get him in at least, I, I'm not sure how many sets you get him in, but he's not super rare. Um, then Captain Rex, which is my favorite minifigure that you get with this. Um, he is super awesome with the ARC Trooper gear. He has um, the short blaster pistols, and he has a five o'clock shadow. If you can see that there, I'll hold it back a bit. If you can't see that, it's different from a clone trooper's face. It's hard to tell on camera. And then you get sorry, you get Rod of the Hut. Kind of a pointless, not really a minifigure, but it's kind of it's neat to have because. I don't know, because it's a pretty big part of the Clone Wars movie, so it's kind of important. You get Ahsoka, which is really, really weird looking. It's like, got the weirdest hair ever. Never seen this before. It's pretty interesting. Um, she has a green lightsaber and just regular handle and gray feet. I spent about half an hour looking for this piece inside that when I was building it and then I figured out oh wait her legs aren't orange so that made me feel pretty stupid and then you get a clone trooper I put this on him you get a couple extras but they're in the ATT so I'll show you that after of course and he just has a regular clone trooper face and then you get one of my favorite if you have the droid tank the AAT then this is the best speeder to have because it's like the same color um, it's called the STAP, I think. So, it's got, like, wings instead of the old droid battle pack ones that didn't. And it's just got a regular battle droid on it. It's a 360 view of it. And it's got that see-through stand that you can take off if you want to. And then, actually, I'm just going to push one of these things aside. You get the actual ATT. So I'm gonna pull it out. We'll start from the front. Okay, so here's the front cockpit. And you get four ball turrets, and if you pull this up, it doesn't work that well. That one doesn't actually have a missile in it. So. How does this work? Sorry. There! It finally works. That's a little finicky. Depends on. I built it right, it just doesn't work that well. And then. If you pull this down, and you can take this out, it's the little cart that you put. Let's throw that over. You put a regular clone trooper on. So you sit him down like, like this. And I did get this set yesterday, which is Friday, and today's Saturday. So it's pretty new still to me. I haven't had it for that long. And I was going to get this set earlier, but I never had the money right away. And I kept buying smaller sets like the AAT and other stuff, and it's not going in. Oh, his, his arms, sorry. But his arms have to his arms have to be folded up for it to fit inside. And I'm going to do a review of the... You know what? Screw that. It's You, you guys know what it looks like. It just... Pushes him in and then close it, and you can see his face. And then you show you have four ball turrets, so you have two in the bottom, and then you have those missiles fire that fire if you lift it up. The legs are elastics, and if you try and move it, it doesn't really work. It's not movable at all, really. And there's quite a few stickers on set, as you can see up here. And then you have this big gun, which is awesome because it clicks, if you can hear that. So it stays in one place, but it doesn't, it goes up and down, but it stays in the same spot for really easy. So, which is a really nice feature. And, oops. 
pieces fall off the set quite a bit, I find. It's not really delicate, but it's not... You gotta be careful with it. You can't just, like, be waving it around. Um, then you get this little container thing, which has those extra little things that go in the helmets. So I'm not sure what they're called. And then that just goes in right there. There's two booklets for this. The first one has all built. You build all the legs, and the cockpit, and the whole body structure. And then the second one's all the paneling, extra guns, the these, and everything else in the turret and everything. Um, and there's two seats there, which I usually put Ahsoka and Anakin in there, because I don't know. It, it just is. There's two seats, so I think those are for the Jedi. And then back here. I, you can stand guys on top of this if you want, or I put you can put like a turret on top, and then pull this out. You have oops, four sheets, a total four clone troopers or four whatever I guess you want, and then it's got comes with two long blaster rifles and this weird little orange see through thing. I'm not really sure what that does. Um, and then I'm gonna put this back in. And then to put it back in, you just take this end, so you can fit extra troopers in there. Like that. And then it's got two more ball turrets on the end, which are a nice feature. This set, really, that's not a sticker, by the way. This set has quite a few stickers. It's a pretty cool set, I would say. It's definitely worth buying. If you don't have this set, it's worth getting because if you decide that you want the LA team more, it's only, the set is like only $20 less, I think, Canadian, than the LA team. I know this is 90 US, it's 120 Canadian, which is kind of expensive, but I bought it just because it looks really cool. So this has been LEGO Reviewer 360 with a review of the LEGO Star Wars ATT.